Let's develop a messaging service. Let's check what do we need to develop a messaging service. One server on cloud. N subscribers. So we have Alice and Bob. Now Alice want to send message to Bob. How she will send message to Bob? She will establish TLS connection with cloud server. And cloud server will establish another TLS connection with Bob. Here you can see that both are using TLS connections. And that is why no one can see conversation between Alice and Bob. But here connection is not end to end encrypted. Each message will be decrypted by server and re encrypted by server. Which means server can see all messages sent by Alice and Bob. So here comes our first problem statement end to end encryption. Let's remove two TLS connections. Now we will do end to end TLS connection. What does it mean? Here we will modify TLS protocol in such a way that server will have separate TCP connection to each participant, but key exchange happen end to end. Let's see how does this works. Server will relay all key exchange messages between Alice and Bob. Let's see how does they exchange key using end to end TLS. Alice send client hello. That will be relayed by server without any modification. Bob send public key. Of course, this key go along with certificate. And that will again relay by server without any modification. And protocol goes on. Using this technique, Alice and Bob can exchange symmetric key securely. And we can achieve end to end encryption as well. And they are keep going with this secure connection for a long time, like days or months. Now think one hacker on internet capturing all packets that has communication of Alice and Bob. Even though all packets are encrypted and hacker cannot be able to decrypt, still, Hacker has captured those packets. One fine day, Hacker hack Bob's device and steal his private key. You know the importance of private key. Using this key, Hacker can decrypt all conversation that he has captured in past. So, this is our second problem statement. If I am doing conversation now. How can I keep my conversation secure in future as well? This is called future secrecy or more formally called forward secrecy. And keep in mind that because TLS is also facing this issue, TLS 1.3 came up with very strong solution of this problem. We will see what is the solution and how it will protecting forward secrecy. But before looking that, let's move to our next problem statement. For now, we are ignoring forward secrecy issue and considering same solution. Let's say Alice want to send very first message to Bob and start conversation. So how Alice and Bob exchange key, let's see in detail. Day 1, Alice sent client hello to Bob. By the time Bob received this message, Bob goes offline. After 2 days, Bob came online. Day 3, Bob has sent public key to Alice. Now, here if you think that how come after 2 days, message reached to Bob and timeout not happen? So, in last problem statement, I have told you that we are modifying TLS protocol in such a way that server has separate TCP connection to each participant and relay the packet end to end. 
By the time Alice received this key, Alice went offline. After two days, Alice came online. Day 5 Alice encrypt key and send it to Bob. Now luckily, Bob is online at that time. So key exchange finish fast. Here you can see that just to send very first message to Bob, system took 5 days even though Alice and Bob both came online multiple times. And of course, this time can vary based on availability of both. So here is our third problem statement. Asynchronous handshake. I hope you understood these three problem statements. The difficult part in MLS is understanding problem statement. If you understand problem statement properly, then solution will be very easy for you. We have two more problem statements. Let's check that as well. As of now, we have seen one-to-one -one communication. Alice want to communicate to Bob. Now I want to add group management to our messaging service. Alice want to form a group between Alice, Bob and Charlie. In short, A, B and C. What could be a possible solution? Alice establish TLS connection between A and C and derive key called AB. Alice establish TLS connection between A and C and derive key called AC. Bob establish TLS connection between B and C and derive key called BC. Remember that all connection happen via server. Just to keep diagram simple, we are hiding server. With this method, let's check how broadcast will work. Alice want to send message to group. C has to encrypt message with key AB and send encrypted message to B. Encrypt message again with key AC and send encrypted message to C. And if group has 200 participants, then Alice has to send same message 200 times. Which means Alice cannot take advantage of server to broadcast message. So this is loss of bandwidth and processing power both. That is why we are not proceeding with this solution. What is the next solution? Let's say each participant come up with their own keys. Alice establish TLS connection with Bob and immediately after that Alice provide key A to Bob and Bob provide key B to Alice. Alice establish TLS connection with Charlie and immediately after that Alice and Charlie also exchange their keys. Similarly, Bob and Charlie also exchange keys. Not showing here to keep diagram neat. Now, if Alice has to send message to group, then she just encrypt message with key A and send encrypted message to server. Server will broadcast message to all participant in group. When Bob and Charlie receive this message, they will identify that message is coming from Alice and use key A to decrypt it. This is called sender key solution because sender use its own key to encrypt message before send and receiver will use sender's key to decrypt message. Similar solution is adopted by WhatsApp and Signal. Now David want to join group. So David come up with his own sender key called D and exchange his key with everyone. Now David has key of Alice, Bob and Charlie. Same way Charlie has key of Alice, Bob and David. Which means everyone has key of every other participant of group. After some time everyone has decided to remove Charlie from group. 
they have removed Charlie from group. Now any message that will send to group will not reach to Charlie because server has removed his entry from group list. But you know, Charlie has sender key of everyone, which means if he can capture network packet, then he can decrypt all group conversations. So here is our fourth problem statement called post compromise secrecy. How to solve this issue? One solution is when someone get removed from group, all users will re-exchange key with others. Consider 201 participants are in group. We are removing one participant from group. So everyone has to exchange key with other 199 participants, which means traffic on server will be 200 multiplied by 199 request. So here is our final problem statement. Key exchange traffic. And with this, here is all our problem statements that we are going to solve with MLS. First, end-to-end -end encryption. Second, forward secrecy. Third, asynchronous handshake. Fourth, post compromise secrecy. Fifth, key exchange traffic for add and remove of members. Hope you have understood all problem statements. Again, I am repeating, understanding of problem statement is the most important to understand MLS. If you understand problem statement properly, then solution will be very easy for you.